what debuff general should I use? What should I be focusing on for debuffs? These are common questions that a lot of players at different stages of the game have and we're going to try to give you some advice to help you with your decisions on what generals you should use as well as some general advice on debuffs. Hi and welcome to Red Ebony. I am Akayasha, you can call me Aka and in this video we're going to be going through the sub-general progression. Okay, so the advice that we're going to be going through is going to be focused squarely on sub-generals and debuffs. And to do that, we're going to break it down for various player levels. So we're going to have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and top levels. And of course, this is based on my own experience in the game so far. So you don't necessarily need to treat it as gospel, but you can look at it more as a guide to help you with the position that you're currently in right now. Now that we have the disclaimer out of the way, let's get right into it. First, we're going to start off with what I'm calling the beginner level. And for anyone at this level, you're probably around, say, 50 million power or around K25. That's what we're going to be considering as beginner level for debuff subgenerals. Below this level, you should be focusing on your growth and your development. And in all honesty, you shouldn't bother yourself about what debuff generals you're using. They are not yet relevant for you. So don't stress yourself out with all that stuff. Now, once you are at beginner level, what you basically want to do is just get any debuff general and stick them in your subs. That's it. You don't need to worry about types or free or premium. None of that. Whatever generals you have, just stick them in. When I was at this stage, the type of generals that I was using at the time, I had one Arminius that I got from the Great General Chest. I had Nero, Mansa Musa, and I think I even used Gustavus at this point. For anyone that doesn't know Gustavus, that's this guy. So I basically used the generals that I had with me at the time, and that's the exact same thing that you should do. Next, we're going to look at the intermediate level. And for this purpose, we're going to be considering intermediate as anyone around, say, 100 million power and about K30. So when you are at this point, this is the time when, okay, you need to start considering getting some decent debuff generals for your subs. And of course, this is also around the time where you'll be raiding the tavern trying to get generals like Jindiok and some other gold generals that you want to use, uh, ground general, mounted general, those kind of things. So when you're raiding the tavern at this point, you'd want to be picking up some decent sub generals along the way. Now, at this stage, your initial focus should be on debuffing ranged attack. That's the main thing that you should be focusing on doing. And of course, you can also get some other generals just to, you know, kind of balance things out. At this point, you really wouldn't be doing much defending, or you shouldn't anyways. So the balance debuff will help you out when you are attacking keeps that have, you know, all their troops inside. So generals that you primarily want to be getting at this stage, you'd want to get Andrew Jackson. He's the main one that you'd want to get in the tavern. If you're lucky enough to have generals like Arminius, yes, you'd want to stick them in at this stage. And from the tavern, if you get generals like Sixy, that will be good for some balance. You can also get generals like Margaret or Mansa Musa. Um, these generals that are all-purpose generals and give you debuffs for all troop types. So if you get some of those as well, that's also good. So that's it for the generals. But this stage, this intermediate stage is actually a very long stage and a lot of the player base are still within that stage. 
So you'd want to spend your time getting some better generals than you already have. In addition, at this stage, I highly recommend that you start working on getting your prestige up. Prestige will help you unlock more sub slots. So the earlier you start working on this, the better. And especially if your server is still young, that is the best time for you to really start putting in effort to raise your prestige. Ideally, you should be aiming to get your rank to at least Earl. That rank will guarantee you seven subs. And that means more debuff generals that you can put in your subs. So it's important. If you can go higher, that's great, but there's a cap for each rank. So not everyone will be able to push it to the higher ranks, Duke, Archduke, those kind of things. So if you can get to Earl, I think for most people, that will be fine. But if you can push further, the better for you. Then as you progress through the intermediate stage, once you get to K33, you will immediately want to come and get your forge to level 33. That is because at level 33, that is when you will unlock the ability to start building Akemenide gear for your sub generals. So you want to get to that and if possible, start building yourself a few pieces of gear to put on your subs. In addition, if you have any spirit beasts with debuffs, Nine-tailed fox, Godzilla, Pegasus. You would also probably want to stick them in your subs if you are not using them on any other significant generals. Next, we're going to look at advanced level. And we're going to be considering this to be around, say, 1 billion power and K35. Now, at this point, this is where you need to start getting really serious about debuffs. And when you're trying to do that, there are two things that you absolutely need to do once you are at the beginning of this stage. The first thing is, if you are already taking part in PvP, you really need to be paying attention to your debuffs. You need to know what your max level debuffs are at the point that you are at right now. And at this point, for example, if you aren't there already, you should really be pushing to get minimum 400% ranged attack debuff. That is the minimum threshold that you should be at at this point. The next important thing that you need to pay attention to is that you need to continue building out your debuff gear. And at this point, no jokes, you really need to start pumping out the gear as quickly as you can. Not only will that increase the debuffs that you have, but it will also affect the choice of generals that you have at that point in time. The best advice I can give you when it comes to this, forget about feeding your dragons, let those things go on a diet, slow down your gear for your attacking generals if you have not fully geared them out already, pay at least 80% of your focus, 80% of all the materials that you have to go into debuff gear. It's that important. You need at this point to be building out the gear and your aim is to get all your debuff generals fully geared up. At the stage that you're at right now, that is a major priority and you really need to start pumping out the gear for your debuff generals as quickly as possible. The next important thing that you need to start doing at this point, you need to start reviewing your sub generals. Because as I said, this is the stage where you need to start pushing your debuffs higher. So you want to replace any sub generals based on the review that you have of your debuffs. If you have any generals that you feel are not giving you a good amount of debuffs, switch them out and replace them with other ones. In my case, at this point, I started switching out some of the other generals that I was using. I switched out my Sixes, I switched out my Mansa Musas, I got myself some more Andrew Jacksons and some other generals. In fact, if we go to my general list, I still have some of those generals in there. So let's scroll down and take a look. Okay, we're going on. 
okay here you can see 60. i'm currently at monarch 38 and you can see this 60s level she's 36. so i was using her until i was at least monarch 36 before i switched out you can come here you also see margaret margaret i switched out a bit later when i got better generals so she's at 37. you can see my second 60 also at 36 here if we scroll down you can see Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa, I was using him until 33 before I switched him out. And if we come up, I think I still have one here. Okay, yes, there he is. Arminius. You can see my Arminius is at 36. So that's when I switched him out. So you need to review your sub generals and switch out some of them for better ones. You also need to keep an eye out for any premium generals that may come your way. And right now, that's usually in the form of either general tokens or events like Trial of Knights. At this stage, examples of generals that you should be looking to get, generals like Baldwin, the Barbarian King, Mark Antony, for general range debuffs, basically premium generals. You also want to start spreading out your focus to other important debuffs. So for the most part, you've been paying attention to range attack debuff, but at this point, you really should start spreading out to other important debuffs. Things like ground attack debuff or mounted attack debuff, uh, mounted HP, depending on the situation and the setup that you have. So generals that you'll be looking at for ground debuff, you'll be looking at generals like Yon Guy Summon, Amir Ibn Alas, Darius, if you can manage to come across him, Wei Queen, generals like that. For mounted attack, Margaret is probably the best one that is easily attainable for anyone. So, start looking at spreading out your focus to other important debuff areas. That is also important for one other reason. Because prior to this level, most of the attacks that you would have been facing would have been ranged attack. But when you are at the advanced level, that's 1B power, K35 and upwards, you will start facing attacks from other troop types on a regular basis. You will start getting mounted hits. You will start getting ground hits. So it's important that you align your debuffs to be able to deal with that. In addition, if you have the ability to, Again, if you have the ability to, this is a stage where you'd want to start working on some of the specialties on your sub generals. So we know generals like Andrew Jackson. For their second specialty, they have Snipe, which gives troop attack debuff for all troop types 10%. So at this stage, with any spare rune stones that you have, spare gems, you want to start pumping this up bit by bit and do it for some of your sub generals that have relevant debuffs i've been doing mine gradually for a while and if we scroll through my list let's see if i can find an andrew jackson there we go you can see that i've done some work on his specialty but you don't need to start paying serious attention to the ascension of your generals. At this stage, your primary focus should be on gearing up your generals. So I would advise that you keep considerations of ascension until after you have fully geared up all your sub generals. And that's because before you fully gear up your sub generals, you would not know what your maximum potential for debuffs is with the current amount of subs that you have. Once you have fully geared them up, then you review your debuffs, you know which generals you want to keep, which ones you want to switch out. Once you have done that, then you can start going into Ascension. Next, we're going to look at top level players. And we're going to be considering this level as 3 billion power and above. Once you get to that stage, then a few things that you want to start doing you want to start spreading your focus to include 
looking at siege debuffs. And particularly in this case, we're looking at things like siege HP debuff. That's the main one. Siege defense, if you can get it, fine, but the priority will be HP. At this point, you have probably fully geared up all your subsidy generals. You would likely have a lot of siege attack debuffs. You would also want to increase your siege attack debuffs if possible, and wherever possible, start looking at getting some siege HP debuffs. That's because at the size that you are at at this stage, you will most likely have a lot of siege, and if you're not careful, those siege will be very vulnerable to attacks. So, for that, generals that you'd want to be looking at, you want to be looking at generals like Nero, Baldwin, the Barbarian King. If you're coining considerably and you can manage to get him, Hodkevich. So, those are the type of generals that you'll be looking to get here. But, if you're switching generals at this point, you need to pay very close attention to the trade-off that you are making. At this point, your sub-generals are fully geared up. you fine-tuned your subs based on the debuffs that you're seeing from your reports. You know what your max debuffs are. So any changes that you're making to your generals will affect your overall debuffs. And you need to pay close attention to that trade-off. The extent to which you go will only make sense when you are sure that the current amount of debuffs that you have will be enough even if you make that trade. So for anyone at this level, it's quite important that you pay attention to that. In addition, you would also want to start paying serious attention to the ascension of your generals. Yes, at this stage, you should have done everything that you need to do with gearing up your generals so now you should start putting serious focus on the ascension of your sub-generals. And of course, that might influence your decision on which generals you should keep and which ones you should switch with. Unless you are coining heavily, you will have limited ability to ascend your sub-city generals. So that is a consideration that you need to put in mind. You will also want to start looking at other avenues to increase the debuffs that you have. Depending on how much you're spending at the time, you might want to start looking at safe gear to put on your sub-generals to increase the debuffs that you have and any other means that you have available to you. So that's the quick run through of the advice that I can give for the various levels. So if you still have any questions or any concerns that were not answered here, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you would like to know more about how your subsidies interact in a PvP situation, be sure to check out this next video where we look at all the important aspects of subs and PvP in Ebony. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.